I feel so sad. Money drugs and Hello guys! So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a three panel CD jacket. The tutorial is actually split in two parts because I'm going to be showing you how to make one with just the design and another one with plastic inserts that you can get from Amazon where the CD lays. The reason why they're separate is because the dimension from one another are not the same. So there is a difference and that's why I'm splitting the video in two. The project is great for making deluxe versions of your album, soundtrack, CDs, etc. Because you can have two CDs or a CD and a DVD. If you make this for a loved one, you can put a CD with a mixtape and a DVD with a home video. That would be really cool. And in the middle, a booklet explaining everything. The steps are somewhat similar to my original CD jacket tutorial. So I'm going to leave those resources in the description as well as a playlist with all of my videos regarding musical packaging. All right, enough talking, let's get started. Start by going into the description of this video and click on the link that I have left there. Once the link opens, you'll see my OneDrive folder with three folders in it. Click on the one called templates. There, you should find the file called 63 Panel CD Jacket Digipack. Download it and open it using Photoshop. You should get this template. The three rectangles at the bottom will end up being, starting from the right, the cover, back cover, and a panel that will go on the inside. The rectangles at the top will be the design on the inside of the CD jacket. If you're wondering why the spines are different sizes, it's because the one on the left only folds over one of the panels, and the one on the right folds over two panels, therefore it needs more room, that's why. Before continuing, I wanted to give you a tip. You might have noticed that this time I did not include the files of each element separate so that you can design each portion of the digipack. That's because I found the files redundant and unlike the other digipack, all the panels of this digipack have slightly different measurements. Instead, what you can do is select the cropping tool and crop each of the sections of the digipack. Design whatever will end up there, then saving the images as high resolution JPEG and then stepping backwards to restore the file to its original form and repeating this as many times as you need. Once you have designed the elements of your digipack, you can put them together in the file we downloaded at the beginning. Go back into the description of this video and click on the link. Once the link opens, click on the folder called Paper Size and download the file called 13 by 19. Once you've downloaded it, open it using Photoshop. Copy and paste your digipack design on the paper size. It should place itself in the middle with the correct size and print it onto whatever paper you have available. If you don't have 13 by 19 inches paper size, you can do what I showed you on my digipack tutorial in where you divide the files into different sheets of A4 sheets of paper, printing it and then gluing it back together. However, I have access to a printer center that has the ability to print in this dimensions, and the results are pretty close to being professional. So if you have a printer center or your printer can hold this size of sheets of paper, I would recommend you to do that instead. Once you have the file printed, it should look something like this. I forgot to press record when I used contact paper to cover the image, that's why it's already covered. Continue by cutting the image out, including the negatives we do not need. Once the figure is cut, mark the folds here. You do not need to mark the folds, you can just fold them. However, that gives a very amateur looking result, so I would definitely recommend you to mark them. Once the folds are marked, let's fold them in place and it should look something like this. All that there's left to do is to glue the flaps in place and then to glue the top panels to the bottom ones. This time I'm using super glue since I ran out of double sided tape and super glue does a trick. And we're done! It should look something like this. And that is it for this video guys! 
I have a three panel city jacket with plastic inserts. I'm going to be showing you how to make next week. So if you don't want to miss that video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss the video. I hope you like it. If you like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you are, thank you so much. Don't forget that you can follow me on my social medias at Crafter Training. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, bye, bye. Don't forget to come back next week for the second part of this tutorial. You are never ever ever happy being with you.